ADB is releasing this report out of recognition that climate-induced migration is becoming an important challenge in the Asian Pacific region. Since January 2010, more than 42 million people have been displaced by extreme environmental events. The fact that we see people displaced now and many of them becoming migrants gives us a taste of what's to come as climate change begins to have a, a greater impact uh, in the way of more extreme weather events as well as slow onset environmental change. So we're releasing this report to present governments with policy options, with actions that they can take to address this challenge and to turn migration, climate-induced migration, from a threat to an opportunity. With the best forecasts available to us about the impact of climate change, we can expect that these events are going to become more common. So in other words, the number of people who are being displaced now uh, are, is likely to increase. And other factors besides uh, changing environmental patterns uh, is the fact that the urbanization is taking place. Uh, it has been for many years. And uh, many of the cities where people are moving to are actually in exposed areas at risk of, of climate change in low-level coastal regions, for example. So there's more people uh, in vulnerable places in Asia and at the same time, and when we look forward uh, over the decades, we're expecting more extreme weather. The good news is that there are plenty of measures that governments can take, and many of them build on traditional and current development activities. So for example, as governments move to invest in their cities to strengthen both the soft and hard infrastructure of cities, this also can address the fact that you will probably have more people moving to the cities because of environmental factors. So if you improve the capacity of cities to manage a larger influx of people, then you are in fact addressing to a certain degree climate-induced migration. You can increase the resilience of people living in areas that are subject to environmental challenges. So, for example, facilitating uh, remittances. So as people leave communities that might be under threat or facing environmental challenges, and they remit money back to their homelands, uh, to their home communities, uh, those resources can be used to, to build up barriers, to, to strengthen the capacity of a community to withstand environmental challenges. Uh, investments in livelihood opportunities uh, is, is another avenue, as well as strengthening disaster risk management. And this is a key agenda, something that ADB has been strongly supporting, and it very much addresses the issue of climate-induced migration, can reduce the pressure for people to move if uh, disaster risk management uh, investments are made uh, in a way to, to build up resilience.